Right, we are here to talk about Taken Free Trailer, or if you want to read it properly, Tech Freean, as it's stylized, I guess. I'm guessing it was written by someone who was dyslexic? Hey. Anyway, right. Anyway, right. If you haven't watched the trailer, don't watch this, because you yeah. either won't understand it, and. You'll spoil an amazing trailer. Yeah, so go watch it, basically. It's an amazing trailer. Uh, I'd like to say it's Liam Neeson's audition to play Bond. So hey. <laughs> it is really good. So, yeah. Right. First off, we're going to talk about the plot. Yeah. From what it looks like, if you know what we mean. Alright, so we'll start with you for this one. What do you think the plot's going to be about? Um, well, as you see in the trailer, spoilers warning, so don't watch this bit, um, you see his wife. He comes in from shopping, actually, and his wife is on the bed. He calls her. Obviously, she's not going to answer because she's dead. He puts he puts his uh, lunch down, I guess, and he sees blood on the floor, obviously, in this in the trailer. And basically, she's dead, and the police come in, so I think he's framed, which I think he is. And basically, he attacks the police for some stupid reason, because if he knows he hasn't done it, why would he attack them? Mm. Would you agree with that? No, well, no, because obviously, someone would have taken his DNA. So obviously there would be, you know, you're not just going to frame someone for the sake of it, that's what you think about. And the, and that is just generally, if you're a CIA trained operative, because it mentions in the first one he's ex-CIA, so you know, you would be able to take down police. And notice he didn't actually kill them, he just handcuffed them and knocked them out. Mm. So that's, so he, now he's just basically on the one for his wife's murder, which he didn't do. That'd be a great twist, actually, if he did actually do it. Oh, that'd be but, stupid, because he's like, No, someone killed her, but I did it, so it doesn't matter. No, <laughs> no, but no, so from the, flop, from the plot, we can tell that... <laughs> from the plot, we can tell that he's going to try and avenge his wife's murder, and also, later on in the trailer, you see a guy on the phone who definitely looks like a bad guy. And from that, you can only see really his hand, but on his hand, there's Albanian prison tattoos. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's like a sort of Easter egg, I guess, would you yeah. say? So obviously the bad guys from the last two films have been the Albanians. So you can basically confirm that the Albanians setting him up. So maybe this is like, if you remember in the second one, he kills a father, but he says he has other sons. So maybe it's like his eldest son going after him. So we don't know how long this film is set after the second one. I would say about two years, going from the fact that his daughter's in college. So maybe two years, maybe six months, six months to two years, somewhere within yeah. that region. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Right, so this time we're going to talk about the action sequences. Now, I've studied a variety of martial arts, and let me tell you something, the action sequences in Taken and other action films have always impressed me, but Taken has always been in another league. And when you see the trailer, it's not, you can actually tell it is Liam Neeson. And the guy is 62 or 63. 63. 63. And he is really doing some proper action sequences. And they are just absolutely incredible and incredibly realistic. And I can't really wait to watch Liam Neeson kick some ass after seeing Taken 1, Taken 2. <laughs> oh, don't, oh, oh, don't say Taken 2. Uh, no, not Taken 2. No, not Forget Taken 2. Taken two. Uh, <laughs> another stop. And then it's new one, Walk Among the Tombstones. So, you know, after all those films, I still want to see some more Liam Neeson punching people in the face. I have got nothing to say about this one because I just took Kriati. Kriati? Kriati? Kriati, that's a new thing. Kriati, It sounds that's like a mixture word. between Korea and Kriati. <laughs> Karate, I took Kriati. Kriati, God, I can't even say the word. Uh, well, no, I think, going by how Liam Neeson fights, he uses Krav Maga, which is a really quite cool Don't I don't know, physically don't know what that means. It's, it's, have you ever seen Bourne? Yeah. Well, it's, it's Bourne's fighting style as well. Oh, right. It's, 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 it's a good, it's what a lot of people use in action films, but yeah. Action sequences, tick, they look amazing. Right, so now we're going to talk about whether or not the film can properly play out right. Because, you know, there's been two Taken films. First one, absolutely, absolutely amazing. But then the second, second one... Mm, yeah, my, my psychiatrist no. just tell you what I think about that. <laughs> but it's... I generally think this one will either be the best, or, or just below Taken 1. Mm. I, I, I don't... It's about Taken. 
And no one gets taken. No, but it's taken. Why are buying meals? How do we know he won't get taken into custody? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's possible. Or, or, uh, maybe, yeah. I reckon it's going to be the cheesy line at the end, yeah. like when it kept the real one. Well, there was a cheesy line in the trailer. You've been taken. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. we will get you. Good, Good luck. luck. Oh, die. No, but die. no, but that's great. That's a great fight, that, though. No. For the first one. Yeah, I guess, but it's just a bit silly. It is silly. But it's clever at the same time. I think Taken Three will be mediocre. Really? I think it'll be good as an action film. Yeah. But because it's in the Taken series, I'm gonna watch it as a Taken film. Yeah. So I think it'll be mediocre. Well, this is the last one, isn't it? They 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 basically said you know there's a poster of him looking over Los Angeles at the end of the trailer, and it also and it says it ends here. So whether or not they're gonna do something really weird and go actually it doesn't end because we want to make more money. Well, they're just gonna go, yeah, right, the only sin is 63. So, off, you know, <laughs> go do shit in this list too. You know, <laughs> whatever he chooses to do. But it's just, I generally think this would be great. I'm, it comes out in 2015. I'm hoping it's a 15, because I won't be 18 in time to go and see this in January. No. Nope. <laughs> so, here's hoping it's a 15, because I really want to go see this one in the cinema. With like a huge cinema, surround sound, popcorn, popcorn. Coke. Black coat, couple of mates, no, no girlfriends, <laughs> just, just guys, have a bit of a guys night, in Beijing yeah. Stoke or something, and go see this film, and I generally think it'll be great. Yeah, it will, it will, as an action film it will be, as I keep saying, but as a Taken film. I generally think it will be a great Taken film. No. I think, well, I think it would be better than Taken 2, I think it would be better than Taken 2. That, right, that but was horrible. Me, okay, can I ask you something? I've not seen Non-Stop yet. I've still not seen Non-Stop. So... Was Non-Stop better than Taken 1? No. Was it better than Taken 2? Yeah. So will you say that Taken 3, do you think Taken 3 will be better than Non-Stop? No. Really? Yeah. So was Non-Stop quite up there then? I quite like Non-Stop, it's quite good. Well I've not seen Non-Stop, like I just said. So obviously I'll compare it to Taken 1, primarily. I won't bother comparing it to Taken 2. Because, although, that being said, I did actually enjoy Taken 2 as an action film. No, I, I think it was a twelve mess. People were unnecessarily hard on Taken Two just because it didn't live up to the hype. No, I don't like Taken Two. But no, Taken Two was bad. It just wasn't as bad as what people say. No, I thought, was te- I thought it was terrible. Bring your one. No, all right. <laughs> but no, Comment on the video. Yeah. If you think Taken Two is good. I'm not saying if it's good. I'm We've got one here who doesn't like it. We've got one who thinks it's all right. Uh, yeah, it's okay. But no. no. No, put down, actually, in the comments, put down your favourite Liam Neeson action, your favourite action film starring Liam Neeson. Any, oh, take, yeah. any film at all. So you can include, you know, Taken One, Taken Two, one. Non-Stop, and, uh, I don't know, any other action films. Uh, Walk Among the Tombstones, and any other action films that he's done. You can list them down, put down your top five. Five being the least favourite, five, and one being obviously the top. Right, and um, what will be our next video? Um, I'm thinking of the review of The Last of Us Remastered. If uh, you want to, you know, keep in, yeah. keep on tune, I think they call it, or keep yeah. subscribe, you know, all that stuff. If you want to see more videos, yeah, subscribe, and see, like, you know, more ginge. Yeah, want to see more grade four. <laughs> uh, I think it's grade four, I'm not sure actually, my hand. But anyway, no, we will see you next week. Yeah, next, next week. week. Right. Bye. The media boys.